Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining Create with D, and welcome to my live at five. And tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to be making an assortment of products that are from the new um, mini catalog that runs from January to April 2023, as well as highlighting a few pieces that are in um, the celebration catalog as well. The celebration catalog runs January through February of 2023. 23. So for every $50 in product that you spend, you get something for free. So I'm going to showcase some of the paper here tonight at our live at five. And I do want to thank everybody for understanding that, you know, sometimes life happens and it seems like it's been like, you know, kind of goes in little spurts here, but everybody's good and everything now. And so I'm ready to get back sharing things with you. Um, you'll probably see a couple more videos from me this week. I'll be popping on live here on Facebook and YouTube unannounced. So please do look for a couple of extra videos from me this week as I play catch up from last. Um, also, please note that um, if it is something that you do an order with me for every $35 or for not for every, but if you place an order with me using the host code um, link that will be available here, um, I will send you this card kit for free um, again with your $35 um, minimum order. So um, that's before shipping and tax. So um, this time of the year, with it being celebration, with another $15, you not only get the kit, but you would get to pick that free um, celebration item. So it's a great deal. So if you like this class and you want the materials sent to you at your U.S. base address, you know, please place an order and I'll get this shipped right out. Alrighty, let's get started on tonight's project. And please do say hi as you come on. All right, let's switch the camera around. Not that one, this one, here we go. All right, so um, I've got some really cute little projects here for us tonight. Um, this one is going to use the Easter Bunny bundle that we'll do the, or we'll make this cute card here. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite um, bundles. I love rabbits and bunny images, and I love that this is just a nice big bunny punch. We'll talk about more, more of that later on. This card here showcases the, the gorgeous designer paper um, that's free with a $50 order. This is the um, fragrant or the fla favored flowers designer series paper. Um, and we'll make this um, really big and beautiful card here tonight as well. And then um, here's a fun fold um, to um, to show in as well. So this will be our last card here. So please do stay tuned for this fun fold. That's really not that hard. So it's kind of a, um, like a cheater fun fold if you like these step cards. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and we will start with um, this little project here. And again, this is from the Best Bunny Bundle say that quick three times, right? Oh my goodness. All right. So from this, we, let me get all of my goodies out here. This was part of my shoebox local bingo project that we made over the weekend. So much fun. And I do hope to be doing um, some more online stuff with everybody here um, going forward in the year. All right, so um, Easter Bunny, I think I said Best Bunny, but Easter Bunny Bundle is this adorable stamp set here um, with all of these bunny images and some of our Easter motifs as well, as well as a nice solid um, rabbit or bunny stamp or punch that you can do as well. All right, let's get everything out here. That was a little more organized, but I'm not. Everything's just a slightly where I don't want it to be. This card, as well as the next, um, I'm going to be using the cards, uh, the cardstock and envelope from a Memories and More cardstock and pack. What you do is um, it, you get both this size as well as this size of card bases and their corresponding envelopes. We'll be using the large one in the flavored or favored flowers card. Um, and this size here is perfect for those um, just, I guess I should say small and sweet notes that you wanna do, but you can so put this in the mail as well. 
Um, so go ahead and fold it. I'm going to take a three by three piece of Regency Park designer series paper. You get an, like a nice variety of paper in there. And what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna put this one down first. So as you come on, um, if you'd like to say hi, let me know what you're thinking of the cards and everything. And I'll get responded to you just as soon as I can in the comments. All right, so I'm gonna put that on the top. And then I have a piece of um, Mango Melody um, cardstock. This is cut at three, um, three inches long by a half inch high. And I'm gonna put this as a little transition piece here between the two. And then use this negative space here for our stamping. So I'm gonna pull up some of the, um, the colors that are in this Regency Park Designer Series paper. It's a beautiful pack of designer paper. And I'm gonna grab the Knight of Navy and the Happy Easter that's in that stamp set of Easter Bunny. Get that inked up nice and well. And get this stamped here. Super cute. And then I'm going to take this little flower image that's also part of the stamp set and use my petal pink ink. That's the pink tone that's in the paper as well. And I'm gonna stamp a little inside. See that? And then I'm going to take the envelope and I'm going to take the bunny image. Now this bunny image is the one too that you can use this image to stamp and punch. But on today's card, I'm just gonna use the outline for the outside of the envelope, just so that people know like, hey, this is gonna be possibly a little Easter card that's coming in. All right, so we've got our envelope. Next, I'm gonna get some of our petal pink cardstock. And just get some scrap and I turn the punch upside down and hold it to punch. Some people put it down and punch. It depends on your wrist strength. strength. And I'm just going to punch out the, um, the outline or the negative image from it. And because I want to have everybody, I want to, um, I'm going to ink around the edges to kind of darken up the, um, the outline of it so it pops even more off of the page as well as take my blending brush and um, just add a little extra something something to our bunny. Right, so I'm gonna first take the crumb cake and I've got a sponge dauber here and I pick up the ink in the corners because that's where a lot of time our stamps don't get to and put it on like a thimble and I'm just gonna quickly go all the way on the outside of it. Again, this just kind of um, defines the outline of the bunny a little more since it's going on a pattern paper. Um, that way it won't get quite as lost on there. Okay, so see how that really gives it a little more definition. And I did that with crumb cake. You can do that with any brown tones or any other darker colors. I just kind of like crumb cake for me. Um, I'm gonna take the blending brush and I'm gonna grab our petal pink again. And I'm going to just kind of do some circles on this. And the reason why I'm using the two different um, brushes here, the, the dopper gives you more precise control and a little darker coverage on it. So I had my daubers in stock. You could so use either daubers or the blending brushes. I do like the blending brush as far as you don't get that round circle. You don't... Um, you know, get that possibility of if you use a dauber to get a, a circle circle on your items. But then look, our bunny kind of has a little, it's not really texture, but it has a little interest and a little more, um, uh, I guess just that interest on it. And then I'm gonna get some dimensionals and we'll put on the back. And that's a pretty good size um, image here, we're going to use at least three dimensionals. Dimensionals are foam dots. And 
and get him a little bit on the transition piece, the mango, or yeah, the mango melody um, transition piece, and then that. And look, you can have a cute little assortment of, um, of happy Easter cards ready to go. And again, you can mail the size of um, note card, and so it's not too small. All right, that's card number one. What do you think of it? All right, um, let me get the packet so that you can see what this looks like when you get these memories and more cards. All right, so this is what um, this is what this looks like when you um, get this. Again, you're going to get um, ten each of the large and ten each of the small um, cards and envelopes. So ten large cards, ten large envelopes, and then you get ten small cards and ten small envelopes. I like these because they're a different size and they're ready to go with the envelopes and everything too. All right, so for um, this card here, our second card, again, it's going to feature um, some of the free designer paper that you can get. It's the Favored Flowers Designer Series paper. This would be free with a $50 purchase. And um, for this one, um, what's kind of nice is that there is a matching stamp set and die called Fragrant Flowers that's in the mini catalog. Now this will be available all through the mini, but the designer paper is just for the first two months. And um, there's some die cut images in there that will die cut out certain images from the paper. So if you don't want to, um, you know, stamp and die cut um, your images, you can just go ahead and die cut the flowers as well. But today I'm gonna show you that if you wanted to, you could make this with a fussy cut as well. All right, this card's going to go like super duper quick because what we're going to do is we're going to take the hello stamp from the stamp set and I'll go ahead and just leave both of these out here for now. We'll show those here in a little bit. So there's some nice big sentiments here, which are great for like a focal sentiment on the front of your card. And so I'm going to be using the hello and this is with evening evergreen. And I've got the Stitch Shapes um, banner. I used the die for that. Let's go ahead and get that stamped. And we'll put that down right in the center. Hello. Could have done that just a little more, a um, little more ink on it, but I think I'll just go ahead and let it go for now on it. And then with Blackberry Bliss, let's see here. I'm going to take my card base. Again, here's the card base and the envelope that comes in that Memories and More pack. Oops. Oh, there's Blackberry Bliss. And let me get the stamp set for that. Oops, just one moment. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. And I'm going to add, so here's um, one of the images from the stamp set. And get that inked up. And I'm going to stamp on the inside three times. I'm going to go one full strength. Don't re-ink. Two, and then a third one. And then I have this nice variation of the Blackberry Bliss on there. And I'm going to grab my envelope and we'll go ahead and get some coordinating images on there as well. One, two, three. So I get three tones of the Blackberry ink just by not re-inking in between. All right, we've got that. Now we're going to take a piece of our designer paper and this is cut up four by six. So what's nice about this is that you're going to be able to get um, six of these designer paper four by six out of one sheet of the 12 by 12. So um, again, you're gonna get 10 of these bases. So with one sheet of paper, you can make six of these cards again, kind of super fast. So um, I think it's kind of nice sometimes to have these 
um, alternative card bases and envelopes in our stash, just to kind of mix it up from our normal eight and a half by 11 cut in half and have our standard card bases that we do. I'm gonna get this crisp edge on this envelope or on the card base. And the paper has a little bit of dimension or like directionality, not too bad. It kind of does go every which way um, as a whole piece of paper. So you might want to just make sure you're cutting it at the orientation that you would like. And then a piece of basic black card stock. Um, this is cut at one and a fourth by five inches. And this one we're just going to lay down directly with liquid glue onto our card base. And I'm going to put this so that it's flush with the designer paper on the right hand side and you can kind of pick and choose about where you want it. Um, you know, I kind of like it like if this is about the center, just a little bit south of center. Oops. And then, um, oh goodness, what I did is I cut out the wrong banner on this. There is actually a banner that's part of this. I borrowed the an extra one um, that was in my extra kit for our class um, for somebody at um, the bingo that we did this card on. I took one out um, to give her as a replacement one and I totally forgot that that banner was in here. So this banner is in this die set. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one though, just for the fun of it. It's ready to go. And let's see here, we'll get our dimensionals again. And we'll go ahead and get this on here. You guys know me, it's not a live unless I um, boo-boo about 10 times during the live. I guess that's how we know it is a live recording. And then I'm just gonna put this off to the right-hand side as well. All right. Um, like I said, so many of these images here are part of the, um, or you, you know, you can find a piece of paper or a piece of the pattern paper in the set that will match the dies. But if you um, find one that maybe doesn't, feel free to just fussy cut it. And that's what I'm going to do on this one, just to show you the two different ways that you can do it. So... Just cut along um, the flower. I'm going to leave a little border outline with it. My comments may or may not be showing up, so I will respond to everybody uh, afterwards on that. So please continue to leave some comments and feedback. I would love to um, see what you guys are saying. And put some dimensionals on the back of this. And then this kind of gets on the black a little bit. And I purposely did it so that on this time, it's just like a, a subtle 3D to the, um, to the card. So here you can see it. And I wanted to show that you can even do it with um, the other tonal paper that's in there. You can still cut that out. And, um, and you know, and have a really pretty paper. This paper is, I think, um, a little different from other florals and the fact that it's it's um, it's bold it's got a lot of back black background and I think that makes it really vibrant and different from some other paper that we've had all right let me just bring in um, the bunny card too so like for example these would be the two card um, bases that you would get in that combo pack okay so that's that card that's card number three that um, is today's class all right, let me just kind of move some things around here a little bit so that I have what I, I need in front of me. And next we're gonna make this step card. Get some of this stuff moved around a little bit. And let's get this one in. Okay. I'm gonna get in um, my Stamparatus for this card. And let's see here. Oh, there it is. So this this card is going to use the best day stamp set. 
and um, this is there's no die or anything with it it's just a nice fun stamp set it's got this cute little um, pudgy cat that's inside of a cupcake and um, all of these fun birthday wishes here and so it's called best day and what I've done ahead of time. Oh, let me just kind of show you what we're making here. Um, I'm so excited about finding this layout. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever made a traditional step card or a, an official one, um, but typically when you have a card base, you're taking, in order to get this look, you're taking your card base into your trimmer and you're doing a lot of um, lifting up of the blade and doing some special um, cut lines on it. This gives us a step look without having to do anything special in our trimmer. And so I loved this layout and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. Okay, so let's talk about the card base here first. So the materials we're gonna need in this one, All right. um, we're using some balmy blue for our card base. And this is cut at, um, eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored along the eight inch line I've got this done already and um, we have it scored at um, let's see here at one inch and this is scored at two inch and at five and a quarter so again it's scored at one inch two inch and five and a quarter we're also going to need part of the card base um, to make this step part piece of um, balmy blue again and this is two and three fourths by five and a half and it's scored along the five and a half side at four and I've got that done already as well. All right, let's go ahead and um, we'll get our stamping done. That way we'll have all of the pieces that we need for assembly. All right, so um, if this is something, I'm gonna get my Stamparatus out to show you um, how you can set this up if you want to mass produce something. Um, and when I do classes sometimes and I um, like I want everybody to be successful with having it placed exactly like everybody else's, I'll load up my images on the Stamparatus like I've done here. Here's the, the cat and the cupcake and happy birthday. And then um, so if I was going to mass produce this card, I would set this up that way. It's in the same position each time. And it's a perfect placement to, or if I need to re-ink it, I have it ready to go. So I'm inking up with Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm taking my basic white. This is cut at um, three and three fourths by two and a half. And I'm gonna position it in the corner. That way I know exactly where to put it each time. And I'm gonna press down the Stamparatus. It's a placement tool and everything Oh, looks like I could do it a little differently here on the happy birthday part of it. So I'll hit that part of it again and press that down. And there it is. It's nice and nice and um, bold now. I think my um, tuxedo black ink is getting a little bit worn. I have a lot of fuzzies that are coming off on it. But then there's our little card. I'm going to go ahead and put this down for now. And let's do some coloring. I'm gonna use um, Dark Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna start out with the cat. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna color everything on the kitty cat with the Dark Daffodil Delight, with the exception of his bow, or her bow, his bow. And so, um, and you can come back in and you can make this as dynamic um, or deep, what do I want to say? Um, like you can add more and more depth to the um, the coloring of the of the cat if you'd like by just simply going back over it. Sometimes though, I think we just want to do a quick color, and so um, you can just go ahead and do so with the blends as well. As you can see, it goes fairly quickly, and I can really cover quite a lot of area. Um, I do want to let everybody know that. Um, you want to use a light touch with your blends because otherwise the nib or the tip of your blends can get ruined and then you lose all control over it. Um, and so you don't want that. So just um, just if you want to go darker, you just go over it more. So 
pressing it harder doesn't make it go any darker. As you can, you might be able to see here, if I go over the certain areas, they get darker, but pressing, pressing on it will only ruin the tip of it. All right, so I've got, also have Bermuda Bay and light and dark, and I don't think it really matters. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna use light on this one. And so for Bermuda Bay, I'm going to color the balloon. And get the little pom-pom on the top of the birthday hat. And that. And the bow tie. And the circles that are on the cupcake liner. And get that. I also wanted to show on this card that you don't have to always go um, color everything. You can actually... Um, I don't want to say be minimum, but you can use a lot of white spaces if you want, and you can still achieve um, the color application on your um, on your design. I'm going to take the light balmy blue. This one might be getting a little out. And I'm going to do the outline of the cat. That just kind of, again, it'll pop the image off of the, um, off of the, the um, excuse me, <laughs> off of the design. That thing is getting low try the other side. Oh, much better. I do have extra balmy blue. Um, I got some of my blends in and then that way I knew I was getting low on it. So just like some other things, sometimes we think a, um, a consumable product will last forever, but if you use it and it's starting to get low, that just means you loved it and you got good use out of it and something to consider on a reorder. So you always have it in stock. All right, we've got that. Let me kind of show you what that looks like a little bit up close. And I do want um, one more thing on this. Let's see if it's in here. Oops. There it is. Um, I'm going to add a little sparkle to our cat with some Wink of Stella. And so I'm going to come in on the white spaces here. And we'll add a little sheen and shine to it so you can accent the white with a little wink of Stella so see if that will catch the the light on it it's got a little sparkle now okay let's go ahead and we'll um, keep working on the card okay now that we have um, that we're gonna layer our um, our stamped image with some basic black and this is cut at um, two and five eighths by let me double check here. Um, yeah, two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Liquid glue on the back of that. Okay, now we've got our elements. We're ready to assemble. All right, for our, our card base, what we're going to do is, so here's the two larger sections. We are going to um, pinch the two large sections so that that um, makes a tent. And I'm going to go ahead and get a crisp edge on that. And then we're going to fan fold the rest of it. We'll first fold it inward and then outward so that when we have it all done, it's going to have a look like this. Okay, so it's going to be a peak, then a valley, peak, and down. So it's going to look like a, like a stair step down once we get it to that point. This is from Dandy Designs Designer Paper. It's free with a $100 order um, during celebration. Love this paper, absolutely love it. I'm gonna take a 3 fourths by, um, let's double check here, um, 3 fourths by five and a fourth piece of designer paper. And we're going to layer that on our basic black. And the basic black is um, five and three eighths by seven eighths. And I'll have um, like some of the measurements up here for us afterwards. And we'll put that on and that's gonna go on the bottom part of the step here. Put that down. Just an eighth of an inch. So sometimes that can be a little tricky. I got it a little too far up high. There we go. Have a little bit of the blue showing. 
Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put some of that designer paper on the center panel or the larger panel here that's in the center. So our designer paper, um, again, is five and a fourth by two and three fourths. And we'll get some liquid glue on that. And that's um, matted on basic black at, um, this is five and three eighths by two and seven eighths up here just a little different okay and then this is going to go on the um like i said the the larger panel that's this one right here and when you put this down you're going to put it um close to the top of the fold line on purpose there's going to be a little more of a gap here but that's okay it all looks good when it's closed all right so we have that you do want to put down Anything you want in the background first. Now, this is where the magic happens on this step card here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our other panel of balmy blue. And we're going to, um, like, we'll, you know, pinch the top fold over here. So we've got, um, like, the smaller fold going this way. And we're going to turn it upside down and put tear and tape on either of the short ends. So let me get the tear and tape and put it on the inside and on the inside. You have to let me know in the comments if you've ever made this, um, this fun fold in this manner or the step, um, the side step card um, you know, I'm always amazed that I find new um, fun folds because it seems like, you know, I've just been a paper crafter forever. I love it. I love this hobby. And um, I get excited when I'm like, going, how did I never see this fold before? All right. What we're going to do now, we, I, as you saw, I took the tear and tape off of it on either side. And I'm going to fold up my card base. All right, I think it's easier to understand if you kind of hold it so that it's pinched, like I'm just kind of pinching it together, not hard or anything. I'm going to line up this piece flush to the right hand side and flush to the bottom. So I'm just going to line it up to that side here. And because I have adhesive only on the bottom, it's only going to stick here on the bottom. And then this is the important thing on this fold. You have to keep it closed and then bring it down and, and put it down. So the adhesive is only gonna be, you don't want the adhesive to go, to go beyond um, your card base fold right here. Okay, so that's why I just found that I like to put tear and tape on it and then I know. And then that's it. Now we've made our step card and it will hold in place. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get our burnishing on all of these really good again love it all right let's get our happy birthday kitty cat on here um so that's going to go into the front panel i'm just going to go ahead and put some multi-purpose glue to put that down and if you notice that there's not a whole lot of glue is needed um if you ever get like um what do i want to say like um I don't, I call it glops, but whenever you see a lot of glue there, that means that, you know, you're almost wasting it because you don't need that much of the liquid glue. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. All right. So there's one more piece that we're going to do. And that is, as you can see, there's no place to write here. Correct. So um, what we're going to do is the back panel is going to be utilized for us um, writing and making other images on it. But as well, it's going to help us kind of hide this, um, this extra piece right here. So our back panel, you could mat this if you want. I'm choosing not to. This piece of white cardstock is um, four and a fourth by three. All right, and let's do some stamping here. So part of that stamp set, um, it does, um, let me get the stamp set out again. You know, you've got all of these fun little um, sayings on here. I'm going to put on here, it's the best day because it's your birthday. And so that's what we're going to use here today. 
and let's get my tuxedo black ink out. I'm going to stamp before I put, I glue it down. That way, if I boo boo, I can stamp again. Alrighty, we'll put this, I'm going to put this right in the middle. And let's see, there are some little like fireworks or little like um, sparklers on it. So we can do that as well. Let me get a new block and put that on there. This would be the sparklers would be fun to put on the outside of the birthday card or the envelope. And we'll get some sparklers. Put that up here. It's the best day because it's your birthday. I've got a little extra um, things on it, the little outline of it, but I think it's just okay. I'm going to just go for it. And again, we'll put some liquid glue down. And again, this, um, this piece on the back, um, not only is a place to sign, but again, it helps hide our little outside, um, like sidestep mechanism here. Cute, super, super cute. Okay, um, I'm gonna come back through and um, all of our cards, I'm gonna add a little bling. So let me get the cards that we used here today. Um, from the pastel adhesive, um, um, this is in the new um, mini catalog. Um, I'm gonna use these again, the pastel ones, and we'll add a little bling through it. So we've got the, put a little gems on our birthday card here. Get some sparkle going just to catch our eye a little bit on the designer paper. And then we can add a few on the front of it as well. Just wherever you might think that you'd like it. So that adds a little extra bling and sparkle to our birthday. And we can do our happy Easter. And it's pastels and these kind of have an iridescent um, look to them. And so they go pink and um, peachy and everything. So um, let's go ahead and we'll pick up some of those. Whoops. Get that. And let's see here, we'll put, we'll get some three on this one as well. You could use any of these colors for, um, you know, for this one. I'm just kind of doing some really subtle. Do three on that. And then for our hello card, let me actually go in and even though that was the one we're going to use, I'm going to use the one that has the, the banner that goes with that. Um, you know, we can do gold, we can do some blue, or we can do these peach or the pink ones. And I'm just going to kind of show how the pink will kind of read um, even like, I don't want to say purple, but it'll kind of like just give that nod to a little, a little bling too. So let's just kind of put one here and you could add more than what you'd like as well. All right. So those are our, our cards for tonight. Um, let me know what you think. And these would be, um, I'm starting to number the class kits because that way, um, I don't get confused and, and you don't get confused on which one that we're ordering. So this week from Wednesday, the 18th, so next Tuesday, um, it would be um, class kit J18. That stands for January the 18th. And we are going to be, um, you would get these three um, card materials or card bases and things to do this. You would have to provide your own stamps and ink, of course, but everything else, um, would include in the kit. All right. I hope that you have a great Wednesday. And um, if I can help you anyway, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, a like, and um, of course, always leave a comment. Let me know what you think and, um, and please share it with your friends. Have a great day, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.